Every day, me and Cruz, we'd go outside and we'd look around and he checks on his cat. He's precious. He always hopes that he gets to go somewhere, gets to go bye-bye. Today isn't one of those days. Today has a more sad purpose. They're not going for a ride. So the bunny didn't make it. We don't we don't know why, but one of the little bunnies is in here and you don't need to see that. But I'm gonna give it a proper burial and uh, you know put it with the rest of our loved animals that you know passed away a little too early. Curious pal. Yeah. So one of the facts of life when you're an animal lover, when you have animals in your home, is that they're gonna pass. It's gonna be a sad day. Coco really couldn't stand to bear and be in here to bear your rabbit. She only had it a few days before it passed, but she loved it. Like she loves all animals. And that's how it goes. That's where West Virginia just turns into a mud hole during this time of year. And he gets muddy and he tracks it in the house. <laughs> so tile and hardwood was our, our way to go. Just like a child, they get spoiled. If you watched our road trip vacation, bucket list vacation for him, we intentionally spoiled him a little bit and, and we did things for him and paid more attention to him and, and uh, Really just gave him anything he wanted for this trip. Now we're paying the price, ain't we buddy? He's wanting to be more spoiled. He's wanting to mind a little less than he was and forgetting his place in our, in our pack. Now he is the uh, like a loved child and all that, but just like a child, they can misbehave and they can get a little unruly. He's doing things like going past his boundaries that he knows where his boundaries are. He went past his boundaries and he took a poop looking me right in the eyes. <laughs> he did, didn't you, buddy? Yeah, he knew. Because he wasn't wearing his training collar and we've been letting him buy with a lot. And uh, well, we gotta get maybe a little more authoritarian with him. And, uh, you know, hate to do that, but we're gonna have to. Another thing he did is uh, we happened to go into the bedroom for a few minutes without him. Because he was asleep on the couch. and. You know, we didn't think a lot about it. We don't let all the cats in there because we don't want a lot of cat fur in, in the bed. But So we went in there and he must have woke up and first thing he did is pee in the house in several places. He knows better. And he knew he did it. He didn't even want to walk by the area that he did it. When we come downstairs, he, he didn't want to walk into the room that he had peed. He knew. So we got to get a little more strict with him. Put him in his kennel uh, when he's by himself and... Things like that. We hate to do it, old boy, but to be able to live with people, they've got to be able to follow rules and, and not uh, make their own. If they made their own, it would be the Wild West. He's beautiful. His favorite seat in the house. with your cat. I realize this place has gotten a little junked up from what it was over the summer. <laughs> I know. But the lighting is so much better out here. You know, and but when it's really cold outside and it's really nasty outside, it's hard to talk yourself into Oh gosh. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> it's hard to talk yourself into getting out here in the yard and cleaning when you're working all the time and you're uh, it's cold and nasty outside. You just think I'll wait till spring. <sighs> I don't think I can wait to spring anymore. I think I'm gonna have to get a little bit of cleaning done. See what I mean? He's spoiled. He is getting, he is getting a little bit unruly. Oh, just, oh man. This is Alf's little corner of the world. We've got a light bulb. 
sleeping bag in the box. He always gets plenty of food. God knows he gets plenty of water out here. Nope, yep. Back up. Back up. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Ironically, he's eating kibble and he's got a big piece of turkey on the ground. The heck? Cruz is an amazing animal. He can run like the wind and he loves every second of it. Now this is a dead end road. There's only a couple neighbors that live there and this is the middle of the night. We know their work schedule. There's no traffic and it's a short distance uh, and he wants to run on his way to the mountain and that's okay. He enjoys it. It's a short distance on the hard top. Look, deer! And we checked on the horses, make sure they were good to go and then we hit the mountain. about a 45 minute run through the mountains we made the short trip back home uh, where he just kind of casually took his time and had a nice little stroll back to the house. This isn't Cruz. Someone shared it on the web to us. Uh, one of our subscribers also sent it to us and I just thought it was funny. Dogies are goofballs. Hey, I hope to share another video with you guys soon. Every Tuesday and Friday we put one out, and I hate to even say it, but please like and subscribe. It helps.